I've gotten a lot of questions about what sorts of exercises I do for various body parts um, and also what my training splits like so I'd like to talk about that for a few minutes um, trying to explain where I'm coming from what my training philosophy is and hopefully that helps some people out um, first of all by far the biggest question I get is about abs um, in my opinion abs are mostly uh, dependent on your nutrition your diet your body fat percentage um, so if you have questions about those um, you can check out the article on my website phdeadlift.com um, about my approach to nutrition and um, some suggestions that you might incorporate into your own diet if you're trying to um, get leaner while maintaining your strength. Um, for most of the other body parts, so biceps, triceps, um, calves, which I have none of, um, I don't really do anything in particular for those body parts, for those smaller body parts. Um, I really, honestly, I just choose a few exercises at random um, once a week. Um, more or less whenever I feel like and whatever I feel like and I do those for some higher rep sets um, and my goals there are um, Mostly, you know for injury prevention to keep my joints healthy um, And then if I have a weak point, so for example um, on my bench press, I feel that um, I'm weaker off my chest I'll try and do a little bit more volume for that. So I'll try and add in pec flies or dumbbell flies or something like that But really when you're trying to set up a program there are three variables you have to pay attention to and for the Outside of those three variables, the specific exercises and sets and reps that you choose aren't as important. Um, so those three major variables are volume, intensity, and frequency. Um, and I'll talk about them each. Um, we're going to start with volume and intensity because those two have um, kind of a inverse relationship. Um, and if you don't know anything about periodization, you should learn. Um, but volume refers to the number of sets and reps you do for a given exercise. Um, and usually it's measured over the course of a week. And then intensity is measured as a percentage of your percentage of your one rep maximum. So if you're playing a training program over the long term, um, you want to be decreasing your volume and increasing your intensity until you compete at a meet where obviously you're trying to do one rep at your at 100% of your, your one rep max. Um, and then in, in between there, right, which sets and reps you choose is dependent on a lot of different things. It depends on where you are in, where you are in your training cycle, um, what your goals are, and then what works best for your body. So personally, I found that I respond better to lower volume and higher intensity relatively. Other people like Jesse Norris, for example, for example clearly respond better to higher volume and lower intensity. Um, all that really matters is what works best for you. It doesn't matter what works best for me or what works best for Jesse. Um, and that's an area where a coach can be very helpful um, because they can give you some objective opinions on what's working for you, what's not working for you. Because if you try and judge by yourself um, and you don't have that much, much experience in doing so, um, you tend to just go with what you like or what you're comfortable with. And that's not always what's going to get you to your goals the quickest. Um, frequency refers to the number of times that you prefer perform an exercise and usually that's also measured over the course of a week um, and there are a lot of studies showing that in general more frequency is better right which makes sense the more you perform an exercise the better you're going to get at that exercise um, and so the stronger you're going to get at that exercise personally I found this is only true up to a point so for example if I try and deadlift heavy twice a week I cannot recover um, even if you know, my total volume and total intensity over the course of a week is the same. I just recover better if I put the majority of that in one session. I will have another lighter session for deadlift um, sometime later in the week, but it'll be very easy and it'll mostly be intended to either work my grip um, or to work on my form in some way if I have an issue that, you know, I want to I want to tackle. I do the same thing with squat. Um, so I squat heavy once a week. I squat light once a week. And because I'm not as strong on the squat, I can, on my light day, I can go a little bit heavier relative to um, how I train my deadlift on my light day. And then for bench, I found that, you know, a little bit of higher frequency is better. So I bench three times a week. I have a heavy day, a medium day, and a light day. Now, on top of that, if you want, you can incorporate some variations in order to, you know, help break up the monotony, keep your mind fresh, and give you new goals to shoot for. Um, and so I include some variations like block pulls, front squats, um, incline bench press, those sorts of things, um, but I still count them in my overall frequency for bench press. Um, so that's really, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, hopefully, you know, it's helpful. If it's not quite enough help, I do offer coaching through my website. Um, 
and you know I'll keep doing these types of videos hopefully um, to help you put these different puzzle pieces together so that you can come up with your own training program or so that if you're evaluating a training program that someone else gives you that you read online or in a magazine you can kind of um, judge more objectively how successful you think that program will be how well it'll work for you